Gemini, thank you for tuning in to my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment this reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity. What messages do you have for a sign of Gemini? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Gemini. Please and thank you. Okay. Four of Cups showing up. Awakening. Release. So you have a passionate new beginning coming through. So I'm getting like you feeling more enthusiastic and excited about life. Again, you may have been feeling drained recently, but it's like whatever energy that has been attached to you that has been causing you to feel drained, um, having a lack of energy, like you're in the process of releasing this energy. Um, I'm really getting like someone who could have, Someone who could have like rejected your offer in the past is like they're beginning to see you in a different light. So this is someone that you could have quite possibly been hung up on for some time. And I do see like this person taking you by surprise and presenting you with an offer of love uh, or just reaching out to you out of the blue. Uh, but this is something that you're not expecting. Um, but this person has been wondering about you for some time. I'm getting like they're wondering if you will be willing to uh, hear them out and to work on this connection again. Because I'm getting like they feel out in the cold, left out in the cold. But at the same point, I'm getting that they were the ones to neglect your offer in the past. So let's see. I'm really getting like, yeah... We have the Six of Cups and also the Six of uh, Wands showing up here. The Knight of uh, Swords, so significant changes taking place in your life. Um, it's like some dreams, some wishes of yours are being granted. Like you're, you're receiving success in a lot of like your endeavors here. Something that you've been wishing for, you've been praying for, you've been guided towards something here that you're being your wish is being granted here. Let me see. It's some sort of wish that you've been holding on for some time. And some of you guys may feel like it's been so long that you, you begin to lose faith. But it's like it's coming in for you. What is this about? Queen of Swords. She's been one to show face. Okay. Woo. Some of you guys, Leo or um, Libra energy, strong uh, Leo energy uh, showing up. <sighs> strong Leo energy showing up. We got the Queen of Wands. So someone is extremely attracted to you. And there's multiple things that they find attractive about you. They see you as someone who's very intelligent. You're very wise and very mature. But you give off this extremely confident energy as well. They see you as someone who's able to manage things well in their life. And they like that about you. Because this is someone who is successful themselves. They have a lot going on for themselves. And they want someone who can handle their own. And they see you as someone who can handle their own. So this is someone... Like this is a blessing coming in because... I'm getting that like you haven't been treated fairly in the past and previous connections. Um, it's like people were brought into your life. And when they were brought into your life, like you helped to heal individuals or to help them see a different way of doing things. Um, they, it's like they could have went about life just like hurting people, not really uh, caring about the way they treated people. But then they came across you and you were this lesson, this karmic lesson that they had to learn in this lifetime. And it's like you fulfill your uh, karma, your debt in this lifetime by a lot of these relationships, a lot of these people who came your way. This was like something that you signed up to do, I'm getting. And you fulfilled like your promise. You fulfilled what you promised to do in this lifetime. And a lot of it is in regards to some relationships here. And helping to guide these people on the right track to get right. Whether they did or not, that's on them. But you planted the seed that you promised to plant. 
um, in this lifetime with these people. And then you sent them on your way. And some of y'all may not see it that way, but that's what was going on. And you're being rewarded with this amazing connection that's coming in here. Someone who truly appreciates you and someone who's going to take good care of you as well. This person will treat you very well. Yeah, a lot of balance brought into your love life and your life in general. And whoever this is that's coming in, like they are, whoever they present themselves to be is who they are. Like they're not pretending to be any anyone else other than who they are. They're not wearing a mask. So what you see is what you get with this person. And I'm getting that this will be a well-balanced connection between you and this person. This is someone who is reliable and someone that you can depend on. Uh, okay, so your advice is the Two of Swords and the Ace of Cups. So they are guiding you to make a decision in regards to this, this new beginning in love that's about to be presented to you. And I'm really getting like what they're guiding you to do is to clearly uh, state or clearly decide what you want because there is a stable connection that's coming in. Uh, someone who like you'll match their frequency. This is someone that you will be compatible with here. Um, but some of you guys have like stepped into this independent energy. Like you have this resilient energy. You're very strong. You're extremely confident and uh, independent and strong on your own. So it may be a little difficult for you to accept a partnership or someone being a part of your life because you've embraced your independence. You've embraced being on your own. You've accepted it, but they don't want you to be on your own. Like you're meant to be in a relationship. You're meant to have this stable new beginning and love that's coming in for you. But they can't force anything on you. So they need you to clearly decide and accept the fact that, yeah, things, uh, relationships or connections may, yeah, with Clearly communicate with your spirit guides, the divine, the universe, what you want. Do you want a relationship or do you not want one? I'm getting that you do, but you just, you be, you become comfortable with being independent. And this is just your way of protecting yourself and your energy from getting hurt or disappointed in love again. So they want you to like, be very clear with what you want to manifest in your life. So if you want to love, if you want a love relationship, quit saying that you don't want a love relationship just because you've been mistreated and disappointed in the past. They want you to say, I want a love relationship, but the person that I want is someone who's going to treat me right, someone who's going to uh, treat me the way that I deserve to be treated, basically. So clearly state what you desire out of love. Um some of you guys will benefit from journaling and writing down like the type of person you want to attract in your life because it's coming in. This is what's being granted to you. But you have to be open to it. They can't force this relationship or this uh, connection on you. Okay, messages for my oops, Geminis who are already in a connection. A fresh start after a period of tension. So there could have been some arguments or disagreements in this relationship. And I'm getting like the issue, the real issue is that someone was pretending to be um, someone that they were not. And the reason why it's like they attracted someone by wearing a mask and they realized that they can only wear this mask for so long. So it's like when this mask begins to fade, then it's like these arguments, the tension within this relationship began to arise. And I'm getting the real issue. It says someone does not like who they are. Like someone does not like the person that they are. And that's why they came into this relationship wearing a mask. And as soon as like who they truly are began to or was revealed, then it's like they became more aggressive towards the other person. And it's really because they were taught not to love themselves, not to like themselves. They were taught to pretend to wear this mask. I'm getting like their entire life. So 
I'm getting like this person definitely is ashamed of their behavior, ashamed of the things that they've done, unless this is you. And I'm, I'm really getting this, like, they felt like if they were to show who they truly were, that you would see them as being incompatible, like the two of you are too different to be in a relationship. I am getting like this person really does love you, but they just were never taught to be themselves. They were taught that they always had to, uh, had to pretend. They were taught that they always had to wear this mask since a young age. And so like they're learning to accept who they truly are and learning to fall in love with themselves. So either you stick with this person on this journey or you allow them to do healing on their own and maybe you guys come back together or maybe someone else comes your way. But I am getting like a fresh start quite possibly between you and this person, but the person that you know them to be is not who they truly are. And that's what you're seeing. That's what's causing the tension within this relationship because the person that you're beginning to see is who they actually are. I don't know if like they pretended to like enjoy to work out certain things, but now you're beginning to see who they truly are. Messages for my Gemini are in separation from your person. It looks like the two of you have this great bond. Like you guys... You connect very well with one another. It's like you have a friendship. You connect like well as friends. You have a good time with one another. To be honest, I'm getting like this is your soulmate. They're giving off soulmate energy here. I'm not sure exactly what caused this uh, the separation, but you will discover the truth about this situation soon. I'm getting like emotionally or physical needs unmet. So you, someone felt like their needs were not being met in this situation. And that's what led to the separation. But ultimately it's like the two of you, yeah, better now. I'm getting like there has been healing that has taken place in the two, in both of your lives during a separation. But I do get that there is this amazing connection between you and this person. So I definitely see unfinished business between you and this person. And I do see you guys coming back together and restoring this connection. Messages regarding my single Geminis, please and thank you. Messages regarding my single Geminis. So you feel like you either for one are attracting the same type of energy towards you, but it's like it feels like your love life has been repeating the same cycle the same type of cycle for some time now but you have a destined connection coming in someone who's going to be loyal and committed to you you're needing to work through some sort of insecurities uh that way you will open your heart up to this person when they come in so um because i'm getting like you feel like you've wasted your time on a lot of connections in the past but whoever is coming towards you this new love this is a destined partnership and someone who's going to treat you very well but you just need to be in this place where you're willing to open your heart up to this person okay messages regarding the person that gemini is crushing on messages regarding the person that gemini is crushing on Ooh, whoever you're crushing on, they're giving twin flame energy. You are involved in the twin flame union. Woo, okay. So this is a whole new level. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is off the chain. <laughs> this person. Oh, uh, because um, I'm getting like, you guys are, it's going to be hard for you guys to keep your hands off one another. Okay. You're in a twin flame connection. You have leveled up in love. And I mean, I'm not even going to put this up to the camera because then YouTube be blocking my videos. But whoever this person is that you're crushing on, they crushing on you. You both are extremely attracted to one another. I am getting like a lot of sexual energy between you and this person. But the thing is, you guys don't just connect on a physical level. You you connect on every level with twin flame energy coming through here. But the sex is going to be off the charts here. Okay, this is a whole new level type of relationship. And the fact that you guys like you connect on every level with one another is what's going to allow like the sexual energy between the two of you to be even more amazing. So it's like there was a disconnect in your previous connections, but you feel fully connected to this person. You feel at one with this person. So it's like the sexual energy is just amazing between the two of you. 
messages regarding new love for Gemini. New love for Gemini, please and thank you. New love for Gemini. Okay, so I have someone from the past showing up. This is someone who you viewed as being self-centered. Um, there is either emotional or physical distance between you and this person. And I'm getting that they are missing you, but this person's unstable. Yeah, I, it's like forbidden love. Um, so one way or the other, like, this is not the person that you're meant to be with. Some of you guys are missing this person. They're, they're definitely watching you, but... Let me see. Give is there any new love energy for Gemini? New love? No, I, I'm right now. Like the the most recent energy that's coming through, or um, the energy that's coming through is someone from the past, and they have a lot of issues here. I'm not getting like I I I get that you understand that this is not the person for you. Um, I'm just getting like, this is something that is coming through before new love is coming through. So I'll leave that one there. Let's get final message for Gemini, please. And thank you. Final message for Gemini, please. And thank you. Final message for Gemini. Okay, let me see what this is about. So we have fifth, fifth chakra with Archangel Gabriel and Angel of Love and Rebirth. Let me see. So acknowledging your power to communicate and your readiness to do so, this angel opens you up to truthful expression, both with yourself and others. You may have had trouble with expressing emotions and ideas in the past, but Gabriel is here to tell you that your soul longs to take this leap now. Be aware that true communication includes how you speak to yourself. So never deny your pro profound, um, integral, integral. I didn't say that right. Value. Speak up for yourself. Write in your journal. Let your words flow. Now is the time to express yourself freely and fully. And the universe always honors your choice to do so. Um, so this card could indicate that a communication project is coming or a time of heightened communication with spirit and telepathy with others. So they're wanting you to express yourself more. Let me see. How are these two connecting? So the angel of love can indicate a possible disconnect in matters of the heart. While this sometimes signifies a divorce or separation, it could also imply an emotional rift where two people stay connected on a superficial basis, yet at a deeper level seem to be going their separate ways. In this position, the angel can also refer to an old separation if the longing remains alive in one partner's heart. If you find yourself unable to let go, this loving angel is telling you it's time to release any toxic or, or unrequited attachment you may be holding on to. The universe is waiting for you to free your heart and open your life up to fully present and to fully present and honor and love to the fully present, I'm sorry, in honor and love that you so rightly deserve. So look in the mirror and see the angel of love there with you. Know that you are worthy of this tender emotion from yourself and others. I am getting like you guys like learning to be more expressive about your needs in regards to love. And you could have had like a lot of situations in the past where like you dealt with a lot of unrequited love situations where love is not being reciprocated. And part of the issue, so some of you guys could have been the person wearing a mask in a relationship. And it's like you weren't expressing yourself. You weren't expressing your needs. You weren't expressing what you truly believed in or what you truly wanted out of the relationship. Only it's like for the relationship to progress, 
and like you felt like your needs were not being met but you have to acknowledge that you were wearing a mask the entire time like you were pretending like you were okay with certain things when you really weren't and then when it became too much for you to bear you found yourself like exploding or lashing out on your partner so they're wanting you to learn to express yourself more so when you find yourself connecting with the right person uh, you have to understand that you'll never know if you're with the right person in the beginning if you're not being honest about who you are and what you truly stand for. So that's something that they want you to practice and to um, really acknowledge here. Let me get one more message. It is time to focus on what is in your heart. Focus with your heart on what you want. And that's why I'm getting it's like you for one, you have to acknowledge who you truly are as a person, which is kind of odd coming from Gemini energy, because I've always taken Gemini's to be very blunt and direct. But some of y'all may not truly be aware of like who you are and your purpose in this lifetime. So it's like you may wear a mask and not even be aware of it because you're so used to like wearing a mask, having to wear one. So it's time to free yourself of this mask that you've been wearing. That's basically the message that I'm getting. And to search within your uh, heart to do some introspection here in order for you to attract what you truly desire because you can't attract what you truly desire if you're wearing a mask. So I'm going to leave it there. These are messages that's coming through for you guys at this time. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. But with that being said, you all take care.